silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Welcome to Cathedral. I'm Father Greg Sackowitz. First of all, a very blessed, blessed, happy Christmas to all of you. The inbreaking of God into our midst. Christmas morn. So blessings of Christmas tide to you and all your families. Special thank you to David Jonas and Mark Teresi, not only all year round, but also today on Christmas Day. Beautiful music too as a way to bridge the spiritual video beginning and close. So Mark and David, Thank you very, very much. Special thanks to Paula Colleen for doing all the great work with her great photography and B-roll and shots and directing and choreography. So Paula, thank you on this Christmas day from the bottom of my heart. Two guys are marooned on an island, no way to get off. And a guy goes running around the whole island and says to his buddy, he says, we're going to die. There's no way off this island. We're gonna die. And the guy calmly says, he says, I make $100,000 per week. The guy says, I don't think you heard me. We're on this island. There's no way, no way off. There's no food. We're going to die. The guy again says calmly, I make $100,000 per week. Let me see one more time. There's no way off this island. There's no boat. There's no plane. We're marooned. We're going to die. And he said, the other guy calmly, let me tell you one more time. I make $100,000 per week. I give $25,000 per week to my church. My pastor will find me. <laughs> that joke, I really, really, really like. On this Christmas day, Great story. Some years ago, a priest was talking to a bunch of first graders in the classroom. And the priest said, you know, boys and girls, God gave us one nose, one mouth, and two ears. Why? Charlie said, I know why, Father. And Charlie said, the reason God gave us one nose, one mouth, and two ears, we need to listen to both sides. I like that. We need to listen to both sides. Christmas is also about listening from the heart. Great story. A teacher in the whole school with all the faculty was having a Christmas concert in the auditorium with hundreds of parents of a present and little kindergartners and first graders performing. So the name of the song was Christmas Love. And as each letter was called as part of the song, a little first grader would hold up the letter, the letter C, H, R, I, S, T, one after another going this way. The little boy holding up M for in Christmas didn't know it. He had the letter upside down. And I got C H R I S T W. People started snickering, and everybody on stage didn't know why. The little boy, especially, he's holding up proudly his W A S L O V. 
and people are still snickering because they're so focused on the W instead of the M in Christmas. Last letter, S, and then L, O, V, E. All of a sudden, an absolute hush over the crowd. Instead of spelling out Christmas love, it spelled out Christ was love. And folks, he still is. Christmas love, Christ was love, and he still is. On this Christmas day, I share a story which beautifully captures where the spirit of Christmas should be long after the gift wrapping paper has been tossed away. A teacher gave a balloon to every fourth grade student who had to blow the balloon up, write their name on the balloon, and throw their balloon into the hallway, all different colors. The teacher then mixed up all the balloons and had the fourth graders given five minutes to find their own balloon. Despite an unbelievably hectic search, no student found their own balloon. They kept holding up other balloons of other students, like 35 kids in the class, big class, and they couldn't find their balloon. At that point, the teacher told the students, stop, to take now the first balloon that they found and hand it to the person whose name was written on it. Within three minutes, everyone had their own balloon. The teacher then told the little fourth graders, these balloons are like happiness. We will never find it if everyone is looking for their own. But if we care about other people's happiness, we'll find ours too. Great, great story. And I close with this wonderful story. The story is told of a long, young little girl going to see the baby Jesus for the first time in the manger. And this little kindergarten girl looked at the manger scene for the first time as a five-year-old, looked and looked, and then turned to her daddy and said, Daddy, where does Jesus live the rest of the year? Where does Jesus live the rest of the year? Can each of us answer that question within our own heart? Christmas is about Jesus Christ. Christmas is about us. Gifts received and gifts given. A gift is not a gift unless it is given away. And Christmas is about preparation, giving, and learning how to give out love and letting love come in. And by the way, if we don't have Christmas in our heart, we will never find Christmas under the tree. May God bless all of you. Christmas blessings. Enjoy time with family, friends this Christmas and Christmas season. Create wonderful memories. Amen. God bless. Joy to the world.